empaths did not come into this world to be victims. We came into this world to be warriors. I just found that quote. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so many of you asked me, I just did a video on Tuesday and today is Thursday, and many of you asked me, how do I shift my empathic ways of being to becoming a superhero? Okay, so here is the number one tool and tip. Do not be a victim to it, just like that quote said. When you start to collapse into it, like I'm too sensitive or you take on other people's energy, this is a big one. I am too sensitive. I can't handle it. I'm taking other people's stuff on. Then you're becoming a victim to your own superpower. As an empath, you do not have to take other people's stuff on, other people's energy, other people's feelings. That is what begins to wear us down it begins to wear our power down and it begins to, and it drains us and it's unnecessary. So what you want to do is eventually get to the place and you can start even now where you begin to distinguish what you're feeling from others and what is your own. And when you do that, you get to make a choice on whether or not you absorb what other people are feeling or tune into it and use it as information, but not take it on. And you might be saying, okay, Beth, that's easier said than done. It's really not. It's really not. And if you've gotten into the habit of absorbing or thinking that you need to take other people's energy on, I want you to really think about this and shift that way of thinking. So some empaths feel through their body right? Like if you feel nauseous and you're around someone, you're like, maybe that's something that they're feeling. But the key is to not hold it, not hold it, use it as information and step into full power around it. Another tool, very basic, very basic, but a tool is to constantly be managing your aura, constantly be managing your auric field. And the most simple but powerful way to do that is just a beautiful golden circle around your auric field. So you keep your space clean and clear. And the things that come at you get to bounce off. You can still intuitively feel and tune into what's happening, but you're doing it from an expanded place. You're doing it from a way back place and not getting in and mixing energy. It's when we mix energy with other people that begins to wear us down. It's like thinking of a big, giant, powerful bird, way pulled back, observing, knowing, looking, staying in your heart and being intu intuitive. We don't need to take anything on. You're gonna learn how to navigate through it, becoming organized, becoming an organized empath. So I'm going to continue talking about this, but the biggest thing, honestly, don't take on other people's energy. Begin to make that intention that you don't need to do that. You get to manage your own precious energy. And two, don't be a victim. Don't be a victim. I was a victim to my empathic powers for so long. Be a warrior. Be a warrior in it. Feel it and stand up in your power. Let me know if you have any questions. Write me an email or leave a comment in the box. And we're just touching the tip of the iceberg with empathic powers. And I can't wait to see and hear how you feel once you start stepping into true warriorship, true power around your being an empath. My name is Beth Osmer and I'll see you next time.